Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dirt Green Steel. So, uh, we're at the pond that we've been working on. We got all this dug out. Looks really good. Turned out real nice. We just got to do some tapering on this bank yet. And a little bit of tapering around here. And, uh, we're going to be hauling this pile to the back. So, I got the 270 running. I got the dump truck running. And I'm going to bring the dump truck up. Dad's going to load me. I'm going to back to the back and uh, dad's strength's gonna push it off in the end of the pond down there that uh, the customers decided to fill in a little bit. So uh, just kind of wanted to show you this. There's not much I can make a video out of right now, but uh, later in this video, we're gonna go back to the shop, put 2940 back together, and uh, I got some of the splicer links for the uh, Great All travel chain. So we'll probably do that on this episode too. So I wanted to show you how this pond ended up looks real nice um that along there we're gonna leave that dirt there just to make sure that retaining wall doesn't slide off in or whatnot and uh once the water comes back up it'll be you won't see any of that so uh project turned out real good it has plenty of water space now for the fish there's no pockets that can be uh where the fish can't get back and forth it's all got pretty much a uniform bottom now so uh I'm going to go get in a dump truck, and uh, we're going to get started moving some dirt. So, and then we'll be heading back to the shop to uh, work on the 29 and the Great All. So, I uh, did take the uh, boom lift cylinders to a friend of mine's hydraulic shop. Uh, I thought he had retired already. Turns out he hasn't retired yet from his, from his job at the hydraulic shop. So, uh, took him to him and I got full confidence in him that he can make them good again. So uh, hopefully I'll get them back by the end of the week or first of the next week. So we'll see what happens. So let's get started. So we're back at the shop now. So we got back to the shop this evening. We had to go look at another pond project. A customer of ours wants a small pond dug out, made a little larger, That'll be tomorrow's episode. We're going to start there. But uh, Clifton and Jordan showed up, and uh, so I didn't get done what I wanted to get done tonight, but that's okay. I love to stand around and visit. It's no problem. But uh, while I was standing around visiting, I was uh, had some two or three buckets of oil, and I got those all cleaned up, put them all in the same bucket and whatnot. Well, moved on from that, I walked over to the sink, and I grabbed the... Uh, bottle of soft scrub and a sponge and i started scrubbing on a grate all while we were standing here talking and look at that it was that color yellow and look at it after it's soft scrubbed now i think that's nice come up here check this out look at that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the travel chains back on it take it outside pressure wash everything really good get all the grease off of it everywhere clean it up then we'll bring it back in and Clifton said you come help me and Tyler said you come help me. We're going to soft scrub the whole thing and brighten her back up. I think she'll look really good soft scrubbed. The cylinders I mentioned earlier in the video, I took them up to Miller Hydraulics in South Bend. And uh, I didn't realize that my buddy that works there, he hasn't retired yet. So it worked out great. He's still working there. He's going to uh, find the right seals for him. I was going to reseal them myself. It would have been no problem. But the rams had some pits, especially the inner ram towards the uh, cab. It had quite a few pits in it, and I have no way of fixing the pits. They have a way that they do it. They've done it on a blade cylinder on an old D65E Komatsu dozer that we had one time. had a gouge from a bucket tooth where they had reached over the back of the blade to pull it out before we had gotten it and they gouged the one ram on the blade cylinder. They welded it all up with stainless steel, buffed it all back out, and never had a problem with that cylinder. So uh, he's going to take care of that for me, get those rebuilt. We're going to get them back. We'll get them thrown on. And I'm still not convinced we still could have an issue in the valve body. I'm sure it's going to seep a little bit just because of age. So... I would say, though, the main problem was definitely that uh, packing was gone in that one cylinder. It's going to really improve things, but I'm sure that boom is still going to seep just a little bit. 
but nothing like it did before. Or it could be perfectly fine and it could stay like this all the time. Well, right now it's chained up. So I've got it chained down to the main frame so that it stays up. And we've got a chain so it can't telescope out. But uh, so boom cylinders are in progress. Hopefully we'll get them by next week. Hoping the beginning of next week. Um, I'll show you. We got some stuff in the mail today I'm pretty excited about. Let me uh, get the phone up here in the... In the uh, tripod foam holder and I'll show you what come in the box today some uh, magic came so what's in the box this came from Lavoie Wilcox out in uh, North Dakota and he is the guy that the MC crawler parts comes from so I've got the adjustable turnbuckle for the clutch Got my seal, my other seal, my boots and fittings for my brake rod, bearings, all Timken roller bearings. We are good to go to put the, uh, the final drive back together for the MC. And he even sent me a John Deere Crawlers.com pocket knife. Check that out. That's cool. So, and then today we also got in the mail all the half links, well, four of them, to put the travel chains back together on the grade off. So, I'm pretty excited about that too. So, hopefully, tomorrow. The other 12 travel chain links will be in, and we'll be able to fully assemble and fix the travel chains for the grade all, and we'll be able to get that back together, and uh, we'll be able to uh, get it going again. And yes, I, I know we walked past 2940, and I said we were going to get that put back together this evening. Well, I never made it to it. Dad went in the house, so, and like I said, uh, George and Clifton came over and we started visiting, so the 2940 will be tomorrow's, tomorrow night's project. Um, and I don't, I don't think I really have anything else exciting to share with you, uh, other than tomorrow we're going to be clearing some trees, we're going to do some pond work. And uh, thank you very much to all of you that have helped me share looking for my uncle's 4020. Um, it's gotten all over the place. That video's got a lot of views, so that tells me it's reached a lot of people. Uh, I've seen it shared on social media quite a bit. So if you would, please, if you haven't shared that video, go and share that video for me and keep an eye out for that tractor because we'd really like to find it again and uh, get it back here in the family. And um, I think it'd be cool to see it around again. So uh, it would be... Uh, pretty awesome to find it the only fear i have is maybe it's uh at an amish home or a mennonite home and they don't have social media or youtube and they've got it and they just simply don't know that we're looking for it so you know it's it's a it's a shot in the dark so we'll see what happens but anyways thank you for watching and uh have a great night and uh like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, we'll see you all in the next one. So, I guess I missed this, but under this cardboard in the box is all the gaskets and the uh, shims for the bearings. So, uh, totally missed that. But I was wondering where they are at when I was unboxing. I was like, huh, where's the gaskets and stuff? Well, then I seen Tricky. They uh, put this piece of uh, cardboard in here, and boom, behind that cardboard was the uh, gasket. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to head home. Thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And tomorrow night, we uh, will work on these travel chains. I'm pretty excited to get started on these. Uh, with the four links that I've got, I've got enough to get started. So, uh, we'll take this chain, and uh, we'll try to get it put back on tomorrow evening. So, thanks for watching.